Hello kids, how are you? Welcome to today's math class and today we'll do addition up to 10. Let's revisit. Look at the picture. Here one picture is given to you. You have to look the picture and answer some questions. Count and write how many are there. So, three birds flying and three birds on tree. Three birds flying and three on tree. Total, six birds. Dash boys, one, two, three boys and two girls. Total, five children. Understand? Next, count and write the number 1 has been done for you. So, here 3 apples and here 4 apples. Total 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4. Total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, total 7 apples. So, here first you have to count the number of objects and add them. Next is introduction to addition. Addition means combining two or more things together and finding how many in all. For example, when 2 and 3 are combined or added, it is equals to 5. 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 3 that is 5. 5 is called the sum or total and 2 and 3 put together. The symbol used for addition is, this is the symbol of addition, plus ka sign hai. We read it the symbol as plus. So, here 3 plus 2, total 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5. Clear? So, here when we put 2 and 3 together, we get 5. In other words, when we add 3 and 2, we get 5 as the sum. We write it as 3 plus 2 equals to 5. Next is properties of addition. Adding 1, total 6 umbrellas plus 1 umbrella, total 7 umbrellas. Clear? So, when we add 1 to a number, we get the next number. Whenever we add 1 to the given number, we will get the next number. Next. Write the missing numbers. 9 plus 1. So, we are adding 1 to 9. So, we will get the next number that is number 10. Clear? Next is adding 0. So, here 7 balloon plus 0 balloons means no balloons. So, if we add 0 to the given number, we will get the same number. 7 balloon plus no balloon. That is equals to 7 balloon. Clear? So, when we add 0 to a number, the sum is the number itself. Now, add 3 plus 0 means the number itself that is number 3. So, like this, you have to add 0. Next is order in addition. We can write the number in any order, we will get the same answer. In addition, we can add two or more numbers in any order. Like here, 2 plus 3, that is 5. It's same as 3 plus 2, that is again 5. So, we can add two or more number in any order. Now, add these. 5 plus 4, that is 9. That is same as here we change the order 4 plus 5. That is also 9. Clear? So, we can add numbers in any order. The sum will remain same. Next is practice corner. Count and write the correct number and then add. So, first we will count the number of objects. 2 chairs. So, we will write here 2. And again 2 chairs. So, 2 plus 2. That makes 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 chairs. So, 2 plus 2, that is equals to 4. Like this, first you have to count the object and then add them. Next, add 1 and write the number in the boxes. So, 4 plus 1. 
that is 5. Clear? Next, add 0 and write the number in boxes. 2 plus 0, that number itself, that is number 2. Next is addition on the number line. Using number line for addition. So add 5 plus 3 using number line. Hame add karna hai 5 plus 3. So start from 5 on the number line. Move forward by 3 steps. You will get 8 as the answer. So here it is a number line. We have to add 5 plus 3. So from 0 we will move to number 5. Then we have to add 3 to it. So we will move 3 places further. 1, 2 and 3 will reach to number 8. So 5 plus 3 so that is number 8. Next is core learning skills. Write the missing number in so that each sum is equal to 9. So here we have to make the sum 9. So what will add to number 3? Get sum as 9. So we'll add 6. 6 plus 3 that is 9. Like this you have to do other sums. Clear? Next practice corner. Addition on the number line. We have to add 4 plus 3. So from 0 we'll move to number 4. From 0 we will move to number 4. This is number 4. We have to add 3 to it. So 3 places on the right. 1, 2, 3. Reach number 7. So 4 plus 3 that is 7. This is the way you will add the number on number line. Next vertical column addition. We can also add numbers by arranging them vertically. It is called vertical addition. So here 3 plus 2. Here we have written it horizontally. That is equals to 5. Like this we can write it vertically in column. 3 and uske niche 2. Add karenge addition ka sign lagayenge. That is equals to 5. Here we have done 3 plus 2. That is equals to 5. And here 5 cars. So we can add horizontally and vertically. Clear? Next fill in the boxes. 5 plus 1. If we add 1 to the given number we get the next number. So 5 plus 1 that is equals to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Clear? Next adding 3 numbers. So here we will learn how to add more than two numbers. So while adding three numbers, we can add numbers in two ways. So this is the method one. Here we have to add two plus three plus three. So two plus three, that is five. Five plus three, that is eight. So two plus three, that is five. Five plus three, that is eight. So step 1, add 2 and 3 and write 5 in the box. Add 5 and 3, the answer is 8. Clear? So these are the two methods. Next, add the following. So here 1 plus 5 plus 0. So 1 plus 5, that is 6. 6 plus 0, 6. Here 1 plus 5, that is 6 plus 0, that is 6. Clear? Next, practice corner. Add these numbers. So here we add 1 plus 5. 1 plus 5 is same as 5 plus 1. So answer is 6. So you have to practice all the sums. Next is NEP. Life skills. Look at the different combination given below. Study these combination using the given picture and fill in the boxes. Here, 
1 plus 0. Combination of 1 plus 0 or 0 plus 1 that is equals to 1. Here 4 plus 0. So that is equals to 4. 3 plus 1 that is also equals to 4. So here different combinations are given here. You have to add these number and write the sum. Next is story problems. Now, we'll take an example. Radha has two balls and her brother Sonu gives her two more balls. How many balls does Radha have now? Radha already, Radha ke pas two balls thi and uske brother ne, Sonu ne three more balls thi. So, total kitni ho gai? Two plus three, that is five balls. So, now Radha have total five balls. Clear? So, whenever total is asked, you have to add the number. Clear? Next is, Practice corner. Solve the following story problems. There are four candles on one cake and three on the other cake. How many candles are there in all? So, in one cake, there is four candles and other cake, there are three candles. So, total kya ho Four plus three. So, total seven. There are seven candles in all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 4 plus 3 that is equal to 7. Next is problem solving skills. Complete the puzzle using number names. So, here it is across and it is down. So, across first number means like this first number 5 plus 5 that is equals to 10 so here you have to write the number name t e n 10 like this first you have to add the number and jo bhi sum aayega uska number name aapko likhna hai next is multiple choice question take the correct choice 3 plus 0 that is equals to 3 so C is the correct option, clear? So, you have to practice all the questions of this chapter. Here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now, you have to practice it.